No time left on the clock and now they're attacking down by two? This can't be happening. Is this real life? Greetings my fellow fans of Clash of Clans, it is your host Galadon. You are watching Clash of Clans Attacks and yes, today we have another Edge of Your Seat Clan War episode and we're not going to waste any time, let's get right into the replays. First we are watching one from Snake Eater Solid against a very popular base layout that I keep on seeing more and more of. And Snake has brought five golems, the fifth is in the clan castle, there they are, two jump spells already down. Golems moving in, Pekka in behind right away. Here come those heroes, everybody moving into that first enclosure. The wizards are gonna help take out those structures in that first enclosure. Now watch the hog riders on the right side of your screen. They go to work and take out that archer tower and the second archer tower right next to it. And that is critical. That is gonna help clear those defensive structures just to make sure that all of the units work together. And there you can see they are in through that second jump spell, slowed down just a bit by the skeleton traps and the defending heroes but that rage spell is going to help them get through the last of those units before they turn to the town hall and there you can see the queen still working finally those units are on the town hall damage happening quickly any second now there is the first star for the town hall the king around the left hand side is going to help get that second star the queen still at full health is going to work on the structures on the right and a second star is a foregone conclusion that looks like maybe a third star is out of the question uh, but certainly an easy and fast two star our victory for snake eater solid we will fast forward through the rest of this attack as we wrap it up well beyond 50 percent but an excellent two-star addition to lost phoenix's war tally now for our next replay we will travel back in time to the very beginning of this war and watch me kick it off live all right so nobody wants to go first five minutes in and i've been assigned base number 15 and uh, uh, let's see here. So I've brought a couple of giants. I'm slightly switching it up. I'm going to use the giants right here. Lure out the clan castle troops. And then we will deal with them hopefully with one balloon. Okay, they're minions. Minions? Who puts minions in their clan castle? Um, okay, so we're going to pretend the clan castle troops aren't there. We're going to ignore them. And uh, coming from the right-hand side, going to drop my uh, clan castle balloons first. And then my uh, lava hounds from the uh, top up here and then the lava hounds in behind trying to get two on each air defense and then the balloons in along a nice string and then some minions in here i'm going to leave a few minions behind there we go okay so now we've got the rage spells here and we've got that working a little bit of an overlap but that is okay moving in quickly we're going to get ready with the uh, last rage spell put it by the town hall then maybe a free spell over here stop that inferno all right so we've got work going down come on balloons get in there it's looking pretty good let's get ready with the last freeze spell and we'll do that on the inferno tower and all right so come on town hall go 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 we got 44 percent looking pretty good let's wait on the heroes town hall should go down 50 percent come on okay town hall not quite going down and uh looks like 50 percent might not happen either uh, we're going to get ready with the heroes, and we're going to bring the heroes in and send them after the town hall. Okay, 49%. So, come on. Let's get 50. There, okay, so there we got 50%, so we can breathe easy. Let's focus on the town hall. One of the infernos is down. So, from the right-hand side, please go after the town hall. The king first, and then the queen. And, all right, so it's looking like it might... No, king, come back! Where are you going? All right, so the king is has gone off but the queen definitely it looks like she is focused on town hall targeting go after that clan castle and then take the town hall out all right so the king quickly getting damaged we're going to use his iron fist and I'll let him just wander off he really is a non-issue at this point it's just the queen we want her to go after the no the town hall come back no skeleton trap this is bad no okay okay we're gonna patiently wait not gonna panic gonna save her ability for when she really needs it get that inferno tower down Please go after the town hall. Now, she needs another wall, so I'm thinking maybe... Uh, okay, yeah, so now we're going to use her ability. Get her through that wall. Please, no more skeleton traps. Please get to the town hall quickly. There it is. One shot. Single shotting the town hall for the second star. Way to go, queen. And uh, that is two stars to kick off this war, and uh, hopefully the rest of the war goes just as smoothly. Yeah, that was smooth. Right. Not. Oh. <sighs> 
So I did manage to add two War Stars to our tally with my first attack. My second attack didn't go quite as well. I was going for a three star victory on a lower base. Could not clutch it, but we had another member, Adrenaline, who did get it later on in the war. And I'm gonna save that attack for a future episode when I talk about hybrid attacks because it was a very interesting attack and I definitely want to cover that in more detail. So next we will move on to an attack from Nightwish. And Knight also bringing the five golem attack, fifth golem popping out of the clan castle like we saw earlier. Only one jump spell, but he does have wall breakers to get through that outer wall. He's obviously tailored this army and spell composition to this base. Here come the wizards clearing those surrounding structures. And now the golems moving in more deeply. Here come the P.E.K.K.A. in behind and they will head towards the defending barbarian king. So that works out very well. Great rage spell placement. The big bomb triggered by the golems. And now the P.E.K.K.A. moving in to take out the defending queen and those skeletons. Here come the heroes from the top of your screen along with a few more wizards. And uh, hopefully they will work their way towards that town hall enclosure. Here comes the last raid spell. We've got the clan castle troops finally deploying. And there is a lightning spell. Hopefully that will take care of them. And not quite. Looks like the Valkyrie and the Witch both unfortunately survive. And uh, that Witch is just spewing out skeletons nonstop. And we will shortly see how much of a pain that can be. As the whole raid basically pauses to try to get rid of that Witch and her skeletons. Finally, they are going to get her out of the way. The jump spell goes down. The King moving in after it looks like the Expo. Great freeze spell, freezing the Expo in the Inferno. Queen working on the other Inferno, has to use her heroic ability, but she does take out that Town Hall. There is the first star, 47% damage, and it should not be a problem, 49%. And as the Inferno Tower goes down, that is the second star, 51%. And Nightwish wrapping up a two-star attack in Clan War against a fully maxed base. And it would turn out that every single star was needed as we look at the end of this war that was close all the way along. 82 to 80 stars. We've got four attacks left. The opposing clan has four attacks left. And you can see we've got some last minute attackers with three minutes remaining in this clan war. We see that Shea BD is going for this village. And at this point, we have managed to two star every single one of their bases. So really this is three stars or nothing. Uh, a two star attack is completely meaningless. Now the other clan has not two starred all of our bases. In fact, there's two of our bases that have only been one star. And right here, we've got an opposing clan member going after Isabella's base that has only been one starred. And so that is definitely making us nervous. Lots of clan members watching right now uh, hate that lag when that happens. But uh, we hope that we stay connected and we watch the rest of this uh, war countdown. You can see that uh, Ivan is going to uh, try to take out the air defenses, but we go back, we're gonna take a look and see what else is going on. And uh, yep, Shea BD is still working, but that is gonna be a tough call for three stars over here. And uh, this raid is almost over. You see just the heroes and uh, they are in their low 20s. Lots of defensive structures left. Uh, lots of archer towers and the inferno tower does not look like any chance at three stars We go back over and take a look at Ivan's progress and he's got mass dragons And it looks like his intention was to take out both of these bottom air defenses But the heroes could not get to the second air defense He drops in the dragons and now instead of wondering whether this will be two or three stars The really the question is uh, can he get two stars at all the dragons going down quickly the heroes already out of the way the clan castle troops deploy so I'm definitely calling no two star there. It might not even be any stars. Uh, now we're looking, we've got Strikers attacking. He's going for a bottom base. And now this is another village that has not been three starred yet. And I would think it's definitely the most likely. But unfortunately, Strikers does not have maxed out Lava Hounds. But with this village layout, maybe a ground attack would work best and have the best shot at three stars. So you can see Go Wee Wee moving in from the bottom of your screen. Good rage spell, but again, it is coming down to three stars or nothing. One, two, zero stars, all the same. It's got to be three stars to add any to this war tally. And you've got a lot of defensive structures at the top of your screen. Both Inferno Towers, both Expos, two Wizard Towers, and a Mortar way up at the top. And Tesla's up there as well. So quickly, it is not looking like there's any shot at three stars. Again, Strikers has 20-something heroes. And uh, it doesn't matter whether this is a star or two. The queen working on the town hall. Uh, but again, not three stars. So it is immaterial. And uh, we will have to hope that the other clan doesn't 
add two stars or more at the last seconds of this battle as uh, we watch strikers wrap this up just not going to happen a uh, few more units so we're going to go back out and take a look and see what's happening out here 13 12 11 it's counting down 10 seconds remain we are still ahead by two stars 82 to 80 5 4 crispy attacking for lost phoenix as time is running out and there time is out we're going to go and watch crispy's attack briefly and uh, crispy also going in with what's that hog riders hog riders and a golem and some balloons and a wizard i guess he was going for some sort of modified hybrid here but it does not look like it is going to matter as time has run out the other uh, clan was not attacking and so we've pretty much iced the victory here we will go ahead and go back and take a look at the war screen really no way that the other clan could catch up at this point it's just a matter of do we win by two or three stars don't think that's going to be a three star and how is that possible? The opposing clan is attacking one of our one-star villages. When I looked, there was no time left. He is in there, and uh, Mario JWZ looks like a lot of units are down already. And uh, man, I, I don't know where that attack came from. I could have sworn time had run out, but it looks like a lot of units are going down quickly. Yeah, there's a uh, clan castle witch working on things, and yes, uh, very soon we will see this attack is not going anywhere. A last moment desperation, a good effort by the opposing clan, and I have to say congrats to them for trying uh, very hard. They never gave up, used almost all of their attacks, and as time ran out, the very last attacks being used, and there it is. This war is over. 82 stars for Lost Phoenix, 80 stars for Leandas AE, and a well-fought war by both sides. Great participation, all but one attack used by Lost Phoenix, all but two be used by the opponents. And uh, there you can see we both had two three-star attacks, and just those two extra two-star victories made the difference. Very close war. Congratulations, you guys. Uh, this is Serachota's most heroic attack. And uh, you can see here, this also might have made a difference. Look like that opposing clan member forgot to switch his base out of decoy mode. No doubt the Christmas tree base was a decoy. So that might have been an extra star that we got. This war could have been even closer. So you've got to love those close clan wars, especially when both sides fight fair. It is definitely the most exciting aspect in the game for me right now. Congratulations again to everybody. Loved that war. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please do be sure to check out my other videos before you go. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave some comments down below what you want to see in a future episode. And I will see you again tomorrow with more edge of your seat, exciting, last minute, full attacks. Carried on, not bad, not awesome, but not bad.